what's going on people um i've learned that kevin campbell has passed away at the age of 54 um i'm very very devastated because i'm an arsenal fan and i watch a lot of arsenal related content um on youtube and and i like i said i'm very very sad i knew that he was uh he was ill um following the um what what we heard it was an, an illness and i heard it was liver failure but um um but yeah i'm very very sad to hear that he's uh he's passed away and um, my heart goes out to his family um especially sophie 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 from the hybrid squad who he uh who he hosts the show with and indeed um um Amanda as well, who was a part of the part of the show, who knows him. Um, my thoughts go out to her um, uh, as well. I mean, everybody that's been connected, that that that's worked with him and that knows him personally. I my heart goes out to all of you. Um, let me tell you what Kevin Campbell is to me. You see. Ian Wright got me into football back in 96. 1996, I became a Gooner. I became an Arsenal fan. It was because of Ian Wright and he scored two goals out of nowhere. Um, and that moment I became, I became in love with the club. But over the last few years or so, it was Kevin Campbell that, through through what he says on on YouTube and and I've begun to understood the club even more because of um how he played the game, you know how he feels about what goes on in the dressing rooms, um and just generally having to talk about um the game as it is today, and he talks about the players, the current players, and everything and. Um, I became more enamoured with the club because he understood its roots. He understood um, about the spirit of the club. He understood all of that stuff. This one is a very, very sad, sad loss. And um, and he is a special person. He's a, the most deadly special person. He gives his time to, to, to people. I never met the man myself, but I but I have commented on the hybrid squad a couple of times, and they read it out and everything else, and that's appreciative. Um, but I, as I say, I watch a lot of Arsenal related content um, on YouTube a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. Even my girlfriend will even t testify to you um, um, how much stuff I would watch. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very very sad day. It's actually raining outside now, which even makes it more sad. But yeah, Kevin Campbell is. I've got nothing but respect for him. I really have. I've got nothing but respect for him. He's 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 one of a kind. Um, the way he wears his bow ties on bow tie Thursday, you know. Every time he like he gets up in the morning and he tweets, he tweets something that's positive. Um, he is just a gentle soul and yeah i'm 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 just sad that he's gone very sad very very sad you know and and i know i make these like um these uh videos talking about what a person means and uh, why once they're gone and everything else i've recently lost a friend close friend to my family um and she was just as special as Kevin Campbell is. It really is very, very sad. So, um, yeah, rest in peace, Kevin Campbell. Um, wherever you are, I hope that, you know, we all remember you. And I hope that the club can actually um, can honour you in the best way possible by hopefully winning the title. Um, yeah, that's what I got to say. Thanks for listening.